Good morning, everyone. The day has come to butcher the pigs. We got the wrong kind of pig for to be fast growing. So we've had these pigs about a year and I think they've gotten plenty big enough. I can't remember what kind of pigs these are, but if you're the type of person that you don't like to see animals butchered for your food, then please go ahead and click off of this video because that's what this is about. If you are interested, then <laughs> I'd like to say I'm sorry now because this is going to be our first time butchering pigs. We have butchered elk, deer, all manners of small game, but we've never done a pig. So this is a learning experience for us. Uh, I'm sure we'll make plenty of mistakes doing this, but we're gonna do the best we can. We've raised these pigs for our freezer and we are really looking forward to getting them in the freezer. This not only gives us a better food because it's all natural, but it also teaches us where our food comes from and the process you have to go through in order to get it on your table. And the plan is to hang them up for the night because it is going to be like 34 degrees tonight. And that way we can get them both uh, skinned and gutted and hung up. And then first thing tomorrow morning, we will start cutting them up into the usable the edible portions. The one thing I'm finding very difficult with um, cutting them up is there are a lot of cuts that you get like the Boston butt and the picnic. Well, those are cuts that I never buy from a store. I have always just bought pork chops. So this is definitely going to be interesting. I mean, we have had loin. I do. I buy loin and I buy pork chops. But as far as that other stuff goes, I've never bought it. I don't know how to prepare it. So as far as cutting it up, I'm not sure what I'm looking for when I do so. But I do have a book to follow. So hopefully that's going to help and we're going to get this done pretty good. Come on. Oh, I didn't tell you to sit down. Come on. Come on, buddy. I, I want you to get ham. Okay, there we go. Hawk's gonna go the other way. Hey, Hawk. So, Eddie has put the pig down. We got ham first because he was the biggest and most dangerous. Um, not that they're dangerous, but he gets upset when we mess with Hawk, so we decided to take him first. Now Eddie is sticking him to bleed him out. Once we get them all bled out, then we will take them down to the big oak tree by the barnyard and hang them up. Good. Hopefully they're shocked. Yeah, hopefully. But pig skin is a lot tougher than <laughs> deer and elk skin. Alright, yeah, give me a different knife. I think we fed him too much. He's very fatty.
We're getting there. Let me see the skin, skin knife. This is normally, or long before now, this is normally where we would cut handholds into the hide and just peel it down. Peel it down. But for some reason, I don't think that's going to work on this pig. I need to cut down the front legs here. Can you hold that up so I can make an incision down his leg? sharpening knives for me. There's the dog right there. Can I help you? No, I'm just gonna cut the skin around it. Split them in half and then take the pig out. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm getting goosebumps now. I never was very good at getting the center down my center.
All right, we're gonna leave them hanging for the night and we'll pick up this video tomorrow when we cut her up.